In this uh, tutorial, we will look at some introductory concepts of thermal process calculations. Again, our goal is to develop mathematical procedures to determine the heating and cooling treatments of a food in uh, sealed containers so that the food will be commercially sterile. So we have some type of a container. The most typical is a can, or it could also be a glass bottle. We uh, place food in the can and uh, seal the can. And then we place that can in a chamber uh, where we can give it heat treatment. This uh, chamber is often called a retort. Quite often we use steam to heat the cans that are placed inside the retort. After the heat treatment, we shut off the steam and then we will introduce cold water to cool down the cans. So that is why we have both the heating and the cooling treatment during the process. So when we begin heating the food in the retort, there will be heat transfer into the container and as a result of heating, the temperature of the food will increase and that will inactivate microorganisms in the can so that we can get a commercially sterile product. So what do we mean by commercially sterile product? We are concerned with two types of organisms that are present in the food. First are the pathogenic organisms and second the spoilage organisms. And among the pathogenic organisms, the most important pathogen is Clostridium botulinum. So for low acid foods, uh, foods that where the pH is uh, higher than 4.6, the heat treatment must reduce the concentration of the spores of uh, Clostridium botulinum by 12 D. In other words, the heat treatment must reduce the probability that the Clostridium botulinum spores survival will be 1 in 10 raised to power 12. For uh, Clostridium botulinum, the D value at 121.1 degrees C is 0 0.25 minutes. So the 12 D process will equal 12 times 0 0.25 or 3 minutes. The second type of organisms that are important are spoilage organisms. Typically, these organisms are more heat resistant than the pathogenic organisms. In other words, they require a higher heat treatment to inactivate compared to the pathogenic organisms. So a food processor will design a heating process that will ensure that the food is not spoiled by the spoilage organisms if they survive. Now, because the spoilage organisms require much higher heat treatment, the heating treatment will ensure that the food is also safe by inactivating the pathogenic organisms. For example, one of the spoilage organisms is Bacillus stereothermophilus, and in spinach, it has a D value of 4.94 minutes at 121.1 degrees C. Uh, compare this value, this 4.94 minutes, with Clostridium botulinum, which has a D value, as we just saw, 0 0.25 minutes. So in other words, the heat treatment that will be required to inactivate the spoilage organism here will be much higher than what is required for the pathogenic organism. So again, we have to consider both the spoilage organisms and the pathogenic organisms when we design a certain thermal process. So the term commercial sterilization is to attain a degree of sterility in the product being processed so that it will not undergo spoilage and be a public health hazard. In other words, we have to be concerned with both type of organisms in determining the uh, processing conditions, which we will consider in a, another tutorial. 